Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Aura Divine Tarot. My name is Brittany and we're going to do October predictions for all of the signs. So whatever one you clicked on here, this is just my general intro for all of them just to make it a little bit easier. Cross watchers are always welcome. This is for sun, moon, rising or Venus or Mars. However, this correlates for you for sure. Absolutely take it. And uh, take what I, whatever resonates. Leave a dozen for another out there because this is a lot for a lot of people. We will be going into career, love, and general. Okay, whatever spirit wants me to tell you, I'm gonna tell you. All right. So I hope you enjoy. All right. Hello, my Cancer friends. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus or Mars, if you feel like. Um, and Cross Watchers. Hi. Hello. You are welcome here too. Uh, we're doing October messages pretty much. So. Uh, we're going to start off with career, then we're going to get into love. And with love, I'm going to do charms and initials and such just to see how that resonates with everybody. It's been going really good so far in the first three signs. So we're going to get into it for you. So um, and then after that, we're going to do general. So general themes. And of course, take what resonates, leave a dozen for another person out there. If it doesn't sound like something you're going through, that's completely fine. Maybe uh, in another uh video with your other placements would better clarify that for you okay so take it how it comes and uh yeah anyways i cannot wait let's get started oh my gosh y'all i was trying to do this yesterday and i i posted a video yesterday and i, I know you really didn't <laughs> i mean i don't know if you want to hear it i mean you're here for britney rambles a little bit but um I was going through it and you know what? It wasn't wasn't a time to give you a proper reading, but today is the day and they're doing work outside. That's totally fine. We're blocking that out. That was uh, in my Brittany Rambles videos. So if, if you've been struggling with that, go to, go give that uh, video a watch or a listen if you feel like. I mean, I, I'm on camera the entire time, so it's not really a full card reading. It's just my thoughts on what's going on. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> let's tap into the Cancer energy for their career for the month of October, please and thank you spirit let's see oh we had ace of wands okay okay that was a good flip we like that but it didn't come out but it did not come out okay so what do we got we got the moon something is hidden we have king of cups Ooh. oh we have judgment hold on hold on spirit and not spirit <laughs> spirit loves the butts i love the butts youtube does not love the butts but there you go you could be seeing 222 a lot um it's don't worry you're exactly where you're meant to be that is empress energy by the way um i don't attract i i attract i don't chase i don't chase i attract uh, whoops <laughs> knight of pentacles okay spirit we have the six of pentacles on the back of the deck and 222 as i'm saying this oh my gosh okay so money is coming to you if you have been stressing about money or being properly paid for something or um maybe even trying for a raise this is good this is good a bonus a raise something is coming in you're gonna be you're gonna be rewarded um before i get too far into this what else do we need to see please and thank you spirit for my okay 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 so we have the four of cups clarifying the moon we have the emperor clarifying the king of cups we have the ten of pentacles yeah okay 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 yeah oh my gosh okay uh, uh, thank you very much spirit you knew i needed one more oh that butt wants to come through maybe it's because you got to show your butt i'm just kidding <laughs> hey it, listen it, if you make money by showing off your butt do it baby do it but if you don't feel that way that's totally fine it was just a joke but i want to pull from the kipper deck before i get too far into this cancer so please and thank you spirit what do my lovely cancerians need to see regarding their career oh my god oh my freaking god okay you could be traveling you could be um either like a business trip or like an all expenses paid trip maybe like you want a trip through work or something like that or you have to travel for a new job Ooh, because we have my favorite card ever, my lucky number 27, unexpected income. This is coming in for you. And then number 11, sudden wealth with the 777. You cannot make this up. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, yeah, things have been hidden from you for a while. You've been bored and dissatisfied with, with where you're at right now. And maybe, maybe there there's a king of cups 
with this emperor energy okay another cancer scorpio pisces energy a masculine if you will it doesn't have to be uh, biologically male but it can be a masculine energy this person sees your struggles and wants to help you uh for some of you this could be um a, a sugar daddy or sugar mommy or like it doesn't even have to be like that. It could literally be somebody sees your worth and sees how unhappy you are and they want to change that. Okay, we have judgment. This is your soul calling and this is 10 of pentacles. This person wants to take care of you. This turned into a love reading a little bit. Okay, but like this could be a higher up in a company you're working in or um, a higher up in another company that sees your value and sees that you are under like a, a, underappreciated where you're at. Okay, they want to change that they want to help you this is slowly coming in but it's gonna happen okay like out of the blue you have eight of swords energy and you're feeling like oh no i can't do this that could be like the um sugar daddy uh kind of <laughs> kind of vibe even though it's not the the king of pentacles this has a lot of good luck to it um you're feeling like oh i can't do that i can't just uproot my home i can't i can't be in that lifestyle or something like that take it out resonates okay just just take it out resonates or like you feel bad when somebody gives you money right and you should stop feeling bad knight of cups Ooh, this could be a love offer in disguise this person loves your mind and how you work and how you operate and oh your empathic energy oh my god number seven message on the back of the deck for this oh my gosh you're gonna get an important email text call uh check your voicemail check your spam email uh it could if you are creative um maybe you will be getting a sponsorship i do want to say something like that there's there's money coming in for you so if you have been worried that like you've You've been kind of worried that this is never going to come. This is never going to be fruitful and you should just give up on your dreams if that's the case, if you're a creator. And Spirit's like, uh-uh-uh, don't, no, do not, do not lose hope right now because good things are coming in. Okay, so I'm going to see about a time frame for you. Let's see. Ooh, all right we have friday finalize something just let go okay so leave that place that no longer serves you if you are having those bored and dissatisfied thoughts of your workplace uh i mean who who likes to go to work right <laughs> depending on what you do for work and if you don't love it like that that's fine we do what we can for money right um honestly leave on a Friday and never come back. That's the kind of vibe. And I know that might feel weird for you because you're like, oh my gosh, no, I, I can't do that. I have to do things. I have to help others. That, that would inconvenience people. Inconvenience them. It hasn't been serving you, okay? Spirit's like, screw them. <laughs> we have 1111 here. Listen to friends, 11 days, 11 weeks. Your friends may have been telling you like, hey, you need to get out of there. So uh, it's, um, Spirit's gonna help you, okay? Somebody's coming in to help you with this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else for the career spirit? No? Okay. So I'm going to pause and we're going to move on to the romance department for my cancers. I'll be right back. All right, cancers. Let's get into your romance department. So what, what's happening in my lovely cancers love life? Please and thank you. Ooh. Okay, so either you could be a brunette female or a brunette female might be significant. We have darker hair, intense, focused. What else? Spirit for my cancers and their love life. Oh, thank you. We have gifts, surprises, presents, openings. We have young male, sporty, cars, youthful. We have open relationship, no commitment, casual openness. It doesn't have to be an open relationship. It could just be a casual one right now, you know, just dating here and there. Um, nothing too serious right now. But we do have union, serious relationship, marriage, partnership. So I want to say that somebody's been thinking about you and putting a ring on it or like sees a divine union with you. Okay, somebody here somebody here take it how it resonates on the back of the deck we have dating whining dining romance allow yourself to be wined and dined doesn't matter if you're single or if you're with somebody already make that happen <laughs> or they will make it happen okay so let's see spirit what do you have to show my lovely cancers 
for their love life. We have coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So this could be a friend of yours that's starting to catch feelings for you. I mean, we have Cupid's arrow on the back of the deck there, okay? Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. So somebody really just wants to ask you out because they see you as everything, Cancer. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, what else, Spirit? Thank you very, very much. We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. That could be you or this person or both of you. You both have been through the ringer and this is why you've been so cautious lately because cancers, you guys have the biggest hearts. Oh my gosh. My best friend's a cancer, okay? Like you all are sweethearts, but it gets used against you all the time and I hate it so much. Like I, I literally want to fight people just to protect you guys because like, oh my God, it's just like, how dare you use this good person? 10 down on the camera time the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing you've been through this before so you are you you are holding back a little bit like you are definitely defending your heart at this point because you've been through the golden mirrors you've been through people who only care about themselves and uh but we have engagement ring engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union somebody here sees this with you if or may, if you're with somebody already uh, and you aren't engaged yet, this could happen, okay? Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. But I do have to say on the back of the deck, we do have not today. So this isn't happening like right away, okay? Let, let me tell you that. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundary, still angry. So um, yeah, I, I feel like th this could go multiple ways here. Either some of you are already in a connection and you're healing from the past hurts and everything and moving forward and uh, forgiving each other and moving forward. Um, it, it's dependent. It depends on, on what happened. But um, you are definitely showing someone who a true empath is, somebody who's not going to abuse them, somebody who's not going to manipulate, somebody who's going to genuinely care for them and they, they'll reciprocate for you, Okay. But we have not today. Um, for some of you, if you're single, just just go out for coffee. If 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 you don't, if you're not a nightlife person, totally understand that one. But um, maybe just a simple coffee date, catch up. Maybe it's someone from the past. Um, I'm gonna get into uh, the romance angels before I get too far ahead of myself. We're gonna see what the romance angels have to say about this. But this could go so many different ways. Like either either you're with somebody already, and uh, they definitely want to make this more official. Um, if you're married, you're already with your person. This is a green light. This is this is a gift from <laughs> from above, uh, if you will. Um, but you do have people here who do have crushes on you. Like, uh, it doesn't matter, uh, who you go for, uh, male and female, definitely they are, uh, pining after you 1234 on the camera timer, one step at a time. If you are that person who wants to find their significant other, like the, their, their husband, their wife, their, their spouse, essentially, this is a green light. Like if you are in this energy of attracting that, okay, you're no longer chasing. You have a healed heart. You know how to protect it. And if people do not respect your boundaries, that ain't going to happen on to the next one. And then dating again, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but you are definitely, uh, heading into like a really good energy here in your love department okay keep your guard up okay keep keep your standards high because your love and self-respect definitely set the tone and the standard okay we are not doormats anymore okay we are demanding what we deserve well, not even demanding it's just raising our vibration so that it comes to us so that we're not chasing it we have keep an open mind your soul may differ from your usual type and expectations that's why you need to just stop and get to know people all right you have a big heart and you can coax it out of people okay uh we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance yeah what was i just saying we're raising our vibrations and you know, standing up for ourselves, protecting our hearts. But, you know, we, we you, you, those people, they they'll need to uh, go go through all the all the tests and all that. And that's fine. You know why? You know why? Because they they need to win you. That's the thing. You're not giving it out to just everybody. 
no, you are being selective and as you should. And people have tried to make you feel bad for that. Don't absolutely not keep your options open because honestly, the best people are worth the wait. And so are you. You are definitely worth the wait. So if somebody's getting antsy and like, come on, cancer, come on, choose me, choose me. Why aren't you choosing me? Just block those people. It's because they're addicted to your energy and they don't reciprocate. All right. So be choosy. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed to be choosy. Okay. It's your heart and it's your energy. You have to be with somebody who who protects that and doesn't take from it all the time. Okay. Somebody who pours into you as well as you pour into them on the back of the deck we have heart to heart conversations honestly discuss what your feelings with each other yeah yeah don't hold back on that say exactly what you want from a relationship like i found i know it's hard for cancers to be that direct okay i've got i've got an aries moon and venus i i can't help but not be direct but um i've coached my my cancer best friend on on this one and it's like okay we, we're no longer dealing with dusty crusties mm -mm. no you do not deserve that your self-worth and your self-respect we got to work on that okay we're got we got to build you up so that that internal tower doesn't crumble when everything else does all right i talked about that in my britney rambles video there about the aries moon that we're experiencing right now uh, <laughs> but seriously, this is, this is wonderful. Don't lower your standards, cancer. Like the right ones will come and it, you'll know your intuition will be on fire. Okay. You'll know when you know, and it's not just lust. It's not just idealism. It's definitely worth this. 1555 on the camera timer. And I saw 1444 as I was trying to get my, my words out there. Um, you are divinely protected and this is a big change for you. And it's going to set the tone, okay, for how your life is going to change. Oh, excuse me. Wow. Okay. That was trash. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Are y'all done? I'm so sorry for all like the noises. Uh, downstairs is doing their thing. Upstairs is doing their thing. And to, right behind me, they're doing their thing too. So there's renovations happening everywhere. This building's falling apart, I swear. But like I said, like I said, that can be external. or People could be knocking on your door. People be coming to your home. Be careful who you, who you bring into your home, okay? Okay, we ain't doing that. And if you're doing that, get some Palo Santo, okay? Burn that shit. <laughs> salt bath cleanse cord cut do what you need to do <laughs> anyways uh spirit what else do you have to tell my lovely cancers about their love life we have the wheel of fortune if things have not been looking up for you in the romance department this is spirit saying things are going to change and it's upright it is upright so this is good change for you Let's see, what else do we have for my lovely cancers? Thank you. We have red flags in reverse. Okay, so that's good. The people coming in, not tossing up red flags. We love that. Okay, okay. What do we have? We have the host. Okay, so that is, uh, that's the Hierophant, I believe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and we have the devil. <laughs> And then we have the magician. Okay, okay. So you may be in your villain era a little bit. Maybe you're, maybe you're in your. Um, I do want to say that's the villain era, but like that, that's fine. You're being more selective. You're being more cutthroat with with this more so than normal. Um, more so. I, I mean, I get that you're a sweetheart. You're a total sweetie. But we, we are not play. You're not playing people's games. Okay. If people are coming in here, playing games with you, it ain't going to happen. Okay. You're here for the long term. You're here for like the traditional you're here for and that's fine. That's totally fine. You're not dealing with people who keep you stringing along giving you breadcrumbs. We ain't doing that. Mm -mm. You need you not, not you need you deserve a union somebody who is going to reciprocate somebody who's going to take care of you and love you genuinely and there's nobody else. Okay. You are getting this baby. On the back of the deck, we do have strength opening up. Yeah, this is going to test your strength, but you have what it takes to persevere. Okay, you're going to be left, right, and center. This is what I'm hearing. 1010 on my clock, by the way. This is a lovely number to have. Um, this is joy. This is excitement. Like, this is like equal partnership stuff. Like, 1010 can be um, collaboration with your partner. So, if you are already with somebody, you need to open up your heart a little bit. And they're going to, they already love your villain era. They love, this turns them on. 
<laughs> but this is not a red flag. Like this is genuinely someone that that sees that with you and want, wants this traditional with you. Want, wants the long term. Hierophant is long term commitment. Okay, this is traditional. Can you not? Okay, not today, Satan. Sorry, that one was at my feet. <laughs> Maybe you have to say that. Not today, Satan. <laughs> Just leave. I love that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get some charms and initials. It could be signs to look out for. Um, specific initials to look out for. Signs too. Signs could definitely be in here. So let's see. What do we have for my lovely cancers? Oh my god, Satan, can you fucking stop? Thanks. If you want, I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'm in a feisty mood today. <laughs> Anyways. Um, ooh, I also want to say with the Hierophant, you could be a more religious person and it's hard to find somebody who's on that same level. Of course, this day and age, not everybody's into like a uh, traditional religion and everything. That's fine. And if you do, that's totally fine too. It takes all kinds and you should be with somebody that respects that. Okay. That respects the hell out of that. Oh my God. You got a horseshoe in here. I've never seen that charm. Holy Hold the phone, Cancer. This is, this is divine. This is, holy sh Anyways. Sorry, I had to stomp. <laughs> okay. You, you got some people trying to come back in. Maybe that's the narcissist coming in and you literally have to cuss them out. So we're going to take that as a sign, okay? And I know I use the Lord's name in vain, but... You, you could probably forgive me, right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to say, like, we got some Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces here. Uh, those placements or those time frames could be significant for you. Okay. Um, we have the moon. Of course, you are ruled by the moon. So you are very, very intuitive about this. You can feel this person coming in. And, of course, we have the cross here. So this is very, very... Um, this is like a whole experience for you. Oh, my Lanta, are you starting again? I will stomp again. That's what I thought. Anyways, we have a starfish. Oh, golden starfish. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this one's so cute. Ah, starfish are great. Okay. Like they're, they're little friends and I love them. And maybe it has something to do with the ocean 22 22 on the camera timer oh my gosh you can feel this alignment happening okay starfish this is my good luck starfish okay this is a lot of good luck and you've got the horseshoe we have a little elephant okay this is perseverance this is if, okay for those of you that don't know elephants travel in herds okay and they're very very family oriented they're very loyal to their family like they're they're herd right until you know they get shunned or something it happens it happens but you are very family oriented and very steadfast in your approach to love and you know what you came here for you know what you deserve okay and they're not afraid to travel alone if they need to so don't be afraid of that you don't be afraid loneliness is it's, it's not lonely when i'm alone i'm not lonely and it's okay to have those down times to recharge your energy because you need it moving forward, okay? You need you. This person will definitely recognize this. Uh, we have the tree of life in this heart. This is definitely soul family. This is definitely destiny. Uh, we have the Cupid's arrow again. That is double confirmation that somebody is really, really vibing with you and somebody really, really loves you so much and it's like every time they see you it's like they fall in love all over again they hear your voice they hear your laugh they hear everything oh my gosh <laughs> and we got a little little seahorse okay okay so you too this is this is what I was talking about um keep an open mind your soul made me differ from your usual type and expectation so these two are both in the ocean okay we we have a seahorse and we have a starfish maybe not what you go for okay but this person definitely wants to give it a shot and definitely wants to uh, wants to be with you and give it another go. And then we have another starfish. So like there could be two energies here that are trying to fight for you. And like I said, like there's two here. Oh, my God. Oh, that could definitely be it. OK, like uh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I want to, you know what? I like the golden starfish for you. So that could be you. Um, and then this one could be the brunette female. This could be the young male. Okay. The young masculine or young feminine energy. Uh, I definitely coming in here. Hot, hot. Um, you two definitely are three, I guess. <laughs> um, but I want to say like with the moon here, it, it's a confirmation for you first and foremost. But I do want to say that like you are connected to somebody in the 5D and they dream about you a lot. And you probably they pop up in your dreams, too. And you're like, either, you know, this person or you don't. But like, uh, um, they they're thinking about you and you you just can't seem to get your mind off this person or you're feeling antsy and like anxious and you've been worried about this you'll be fine we have two flowers here this connection will help you to bloom this is gorgeous you will be blooming this is beautiful energy oh my god there's so much love here there's so much love and so much potential like somebody sees your light and knows what you could accomplish in this life okay so for for letters we have y t e s y x <laughs> i just saw sexy somebody thinks you're sexy um g u why it's a guy <laughs> or somebody's name is guy uh oh my god guy fury that's it and and this reading right now it's it's guy fieri you got the mayor flavor town i'm out <laughs> sorry <laughs> that was a funny intuitive download <laughs> oh great I'll, I'll be serious now we have y c e u x e j b and v okay so we're gonna bring that closer for you so you can take a look take a screenshot do whatever you need to do um, I'm going to pause this and then we're going to get into your general for October. All right. So let's get into your general cancer. So this could have more insights for you, um, regarding your career and r romantic connections as well. So let's see, what do we have for my cancers for the, oh, okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> so let's see. Ooh. Ooh get excited oh we have lily spiritual love okay so your spiritual gifts could get an upgrade here uh more intuitive downloads uh because you're gonna need it because you do have skull hidden secrets can harm you so be more discerning in um the energies that you entertain because some people are not not so honest behind your back okay uh we have rabbit too much concern with sexual matters okay we have forest muddled unclear thinking we have frying pan trouble accusations we have fan romance celebration party we have pale time to get out of a situation we have crib birth or conception of a child or enterprise and we have hills obstacles to overcome but on the back of the deck you do have needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted so as i was saying there was somebody coming in that was a narcissist okay and you've been through all of this crap before that could be this person okay somebody who's far too concerned with your body and nothing else okay you've got what they need but they don't have what you need think about that okay your needs matter but it could be in other areas too it could be someone very close to you that it would be shocking and um well not shocking but like intuitively you've been trying not to you're like no no this person's a good person no, your intuition's been telling you off the charts. So this person is just nothing but shady here. We ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, but it could be um, something else too. So let let me just see with the trusty rider weight. I cannot confidently do the bridge every time. So I don't even bother. <laughs> um, okay, so... Spirit, what can you tell us about this in general for my lovely cancers for the month of October? Please and thank you. I know that card wanted to come out, but it better come out properly. Thank you very much. Okay, so you're going to have to bring out that villain, okay? You're going to have to bring out that queen of swords. You got to be a cold, calculating B-word, okay? And that's fine. You need to, like, call your energy back to yourself and screw whoever uses it, okay? And not using it for the good, okay? Not reciprocal. 
you may need to cut somebody out, be cold and calculating. Somebody better come to you with the truth and no BS. As soon as they're given BS, you take that sword out and do what you got to do. I mean, I'm not inciting violence, okay? You can It, it can be like a metaphorical snip. Like, shh, done. Uh, we have Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, okay, you may need to protect your finances. I'm not going to lie. Somebody really like you you're you're stable on your own. Uh we have we have Knight of Pentacles. You've been you've been taking your burdens and you're not taking anybody else's, okay? You you've got your own stuff to deal with. So, you are on a long hard journey and you've done the work on yourself. And this is goodness is coming to you in, in due time. Good things come to those who wait. And guess what? We have King of Swords on the back of the deck. That's logic over emotion. Listen, I know you all. They're very, very emotional people. But sometimes, sometimes that heart gets used against you. So it's time to use our brains. Okay? <laughs> Be smart about these decisions coming up. Okay? We have these six. Oh, standing up for yourself. Yes. Yes. Embrace it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting really, really excited. <laughs> Oh, and I'm getting getting into reading you should too because this is beautiful. This is reward. This is recognition. People are recognizing that you aren't going to be taking crap anymore. We love this. Sorry, I got really, really, really passionate there for a second. But I'm, I'm very, very serious. You're stepping into this. You're still nurturing. You're still loving your kind. But you have that pentacle. You've worked hard for that pentacle, okay? You worked hard for your, your money and, and your worth. Like, you know your worth. And nobody's going to take that from you now. Nobody's entitled to you, okay? You are entitled to you. We're bossing up. Okay, again, the king of swords. <laughs> Um, ooh, ooh, we have the Empress. We've got, oops, hold on a minute. People are naked. We got 222 again. And we have the Nine of Swords. Interesting spirit. Thank you very much. Um, we do have the Seven of Wands. You are very protective over yourself, okay? And that should be good. This is you setting your boundaries and sticking to them as you should, Cancer. Do not feel bad about that. If anybody makes you feel bad about that, it's because they don't like the boundaries you set because they don't have access to you anymore. I love that. They can be mad. They can be sad. They can go cry a river somewhere else. Can you go do that over there? Thanks. Like, yeah, don't be afraid to bring out the B word, okay? Like, you. I know you have her deep down. I know you do. I know you do. doesn't matter how you identify. I know you have that bad B down, deep down, and you better bring her out because you are worth protecting. Okay, so <clears throat> now we have the Empress and we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of yellow energy here. Hmm. Okay, so... You're done with dealing. You may have to lie to someone and say you don't have money. Okay, that, that's what I feel like. Because you're not chasing, you're attracting and your money's coming up. Everything's coming up. This is wonderful for you. Um, Like I said, it could be um, crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So take that how it resonates. Okay, if you are not planning on having babies right yet or adding more to your family, that may be a sign to wrap it up a bit. Like, you know, take the extra precautions. Um, because we also have the rabid, too much concern with sexual matters, right? So uh, <laughs> take that how it resonates. But I'm feeling like you may have to uh, keep it under wraps. You may have to lie and deceit people about this. Don't tell people your plans until you're good. I know there was this one girl on my Instagram and like, I didn't even know she was pregnant. Okay. And she posted the other day and I was like, damn, like she's close to popping soon. And I was like, I didn't even know you were pregnant, girl. What? <laughs> and I was like, damn, well, good for you. I'm happy for other people, regardless if I want children or not. I am absolutely so happy for her, but I was surprised she kept it under wraps. So you might, you may have to do that depending on your situation, okay? Um, either lie about saying, lie about your money, okay? Lie about saying, saying that. You may have like, you may have good money saved. Nobody else needs to know that, okay? That is yours. No one else's, Okay take that how it resonates but it also could be 
You may have to keep things under wraps because other people, manipulative people, are watching your every move. And that is really unnerving. Okay? No. You you gotta you gotta deflect, gaslight, do whatever you need to do, okay? Like <laughs> those people and shit. You can play those games. <laughs> um, we have the high priestess and the lovers. You may have to make a choice. You may have to leave a connection or leave somebody and their crap behind. Take what take all your stuff and just go. Um, because we have the high priestess. This is intuition, okay? Th this is why we've been seeing two 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 a lot. Your intuition is popping off the charts. And uh yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine or Knight of Pen Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. You've been anxious about this slow, slow as molasses opportunity coming in. Either somebody offering stability or it could be that money you were waiting for with your career, okay? Um, you've been anxious. You've been up all night. You're like, when is this gonna come? Um, Spirit's like, when you stop and get, allow yourself to have fun, okay? You don't have to go out and drink, okay? You, you, can, you can have fun with your people, okay? The people who aren't manipulative towards you, okay? You're good people. Um, go out and have fun because that's when the epiphany happens allow yourself to have fun and stop stressing about this you can get you take them gummies babe take the gummies go to go to sleep it's not worth stressing about because it's coming okay this needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted it's coming to you just allow yourself to have fun okay seven of pentacles i know you're impatient i know you are but these ple these these seeds that you have planted they're coming in the, that abundance is coming in allow yourself to have fun allow yourself we are the more abundance comes to us uh sorry more abundance come, comes to us where we're in a more abundant energy when we're letting loose we're having fun and we're not having a care in the world not stressing about nothing too blessed to be stressed kind of vibe even if you are stressed about a lot of things make it seem like you're not go and have fun go dance your butt off do whatever you need to do get out there um you like i said you don't have to drink um but I'm meaning like have fun, celebrate. If somebody invites you out, go, go, don't stay home. I know you're a homebody and I know that's your safe space, but we can't live there forever. Okay. Um, like <laughs> you can come home after and like do whatever you need to do and recharge for three to six business months. Okay. It's totally fine. But spirit saying you need to let loose because you are really, in lack of a better term, you're being a tight ass right now and it's not helping your situation. And I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to be brash and abrasive with that i mean this with the most peace and love okay you need to stop being in this nine of swords this anxious just depressed like i know it's hard to pull out of depression okay listen I've, I've i've been through this but it doesn't do you any good when you're still wallowing in this so feel what you need to feel I absolutely let it flow let the tears fall do whatever you need to do and then get dressed and get going <laughs> okay I mean that because you're there's going to be some epiphanies here there's going to be some breakthroughs there's going to be some communication okay like I said uh text email um check your spam check your voicemail stuff like that um there's goodness coming but allow yourself to have fun be in a more fun energy because fun is abundance okay that is the spirit's cheat code for that so I want to pull for you some advice though okay so i'm gonna pull from you uh some cards from the pocket angels from love exists visions that is queen alice she's amazing she's she's awesome she's a cancer rising so like i i've listened to her she's got that intuition down pat i trust cancers with everything okay <laughs> i trust y'all <laughs> Y'all are the shit. I, ha I have to say it. I got to gas you guys up. You guys are very underrated in the spiritual community and I don't get it. Anyways, we're going to give you some advice. What do we have for my lovely cancers? What do they need to see, please? And thank you. In a few days, do, don't let fear stop you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're doubting yourself. Don't doubt yourself, okay? Whatever it is that's popping in your mind and it keeps nagging at you, that's your intuition, babe. I don't need to tell you twice. You are my... You, how do I even word this spirit without sounding so abrasive? I'm trying to give you like a good sweet message because you are a sweet soul. But... 
I feel like your doubts, like your self-doubts is not helping you. You need to work on that self-respect, that self-love because that's not going to get you anywhere. That's just going to keep you running in circles in a karmic situation and keep entertaining karmic situations, okay? Karmic being like jobs uh, where where you're doing the most and you're underappreciated. Relationships, same thing. Um this don't doubt yourself do what you need to do and like i said step into that bad b energy you can be that bad b don't feel bad about it if somebody makes you feel bad it's because they're getting triggered and they can be triggered all the way over there okay um ask someone for help absolutely okay you, you don't need to do this on your own if you've got a bad b in your life take some notes from that person because they'll help you trust your gut and I also wanted to say, there's an elephant there, okay? There was a reason why we saw the elephant in your charms and initials. Don't let fear stop you. Yeah, absolutely not. Be strong and, and bold. No, maybe not. Elephants aren't bold, but they're very, very strong animals, okay? Um, you will receive a message soon. Yes, you're going to get a message. I'm, I'm telling you, oh my God, maybe it's a letter. We just got a letter. Like, you know, an old school handwritten letter. That's so sweet. I, I wish that never died out. <laughs> That's really romantic. But anyways, it could be something important. It could be like, I don't know, money coming in the mail. Like, who knows? Check your mailbox, your actual mailbox. Physical mail is still a thing. I sometimes forget that. <laughs> Um, what else do we have for advice from my lovely cancers? Please and thank you, spirit. We have last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Yeah. Yeah. The details being how are you treating yourself and how how is that affecting your life? Because that could be a serious blockage for you. And like I said, um, same with like the being in your home all the time and being all stressed about everything and like money's not coming to me. Uh, I, I don't want to go out, all that stuff. Let yourself make yourself go out. OK, dress in the cutest outfit looks so cute. OK, whatever works for you and go out and flaunt what you've got. First quarter moon in Gemini, speak your world into being. Yes, this is manifesting energy. So back to the love portion of this reading, you did get the magician. So maybe you're manifesting your ideal partner. Write down everything down to a T. I did that when it came to my boyfriend and I literally manifested him. Like, and then some spirit was just like, well, let me give you the little razzle dazzle. And he was definitely not my usual type. I, I, from the first glance, I genuinely thought, oh, this could be an F boy. <laughs> but then I got to know him and I op we opened up to each other and it was like, oh my God. And like, I just, I fell, but he checked off all the boxes and then there were extra things that were just, I should have, I could have put on the list, but I didn't, but they were there. And oh my God, it, I, I literally manifested him y'all and you can do it too. You can do it. Maybe don't manifest mine, but <laughs> you can get exactly what you want. I, I was very bold with it. I said a big, big, mm, a big thing. Um, <laughs> I think I told Gemini that too. <laughs> I was just like, I, hey, I manifested the big D, okay? That, that was, I was in a hurting place when I was doing this, but I was genuinely tired of being dissatisfied, okay? I was not happy. And now, now. Your girl's happy, well taken care of, doing the do. <laughs> and loved, genuinely loved by someone. It's amazing. That person's out there. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay? Um, first quarter moon and Pisces, honor your feelings. Yes, yes. This is going to be a tumultuous time for you. Like I said, it's going to be hard stepping into that bad B energy. Okay? You're going to feel like, oh no, I'm hurting people's feelings. That's fine. That's on them. How people feel has nothing to do with what you're doing for you, okay? They can feel whatever type of way they want to and they can have the opinions they want to. That doesn't matter. The opinions of others don't matter. You matter. And if somebody, like I said, somebody's getting triggered by your boundaries, they don't need to be there in the first place. So... I mean that with the most peace and love cancer. I'm sorry to get really angsty. I just, I really feel like I need to protect you guys because holy, the people that you misuse you guys all the time is terrible and I want to fight. <laughs> I'm not inciting violence. I'm just saying. Um, Aries moon or <laughs> uh, new moon, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Whatever you feel called to do. If you have that nagging feeling, 
Go for it. Just do it. Just jump. You will be caught. Spirit has your back. Spirit is your safety net, okay? And if you feel very uncertain about something, do your research on it. Ask for help from friends. Um, yeah, like ask someone for help so that they will definitely help you. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull one more for you and then we're going to get to the angel answers and then I'm going to set you free, Cancer, because I want to set this on a lighter note, okay? Like I, I'm, I'm very passionate about you guys and I love you guys very dearly. Uh, 4444 on the camera timers. I'm saying that you were so protected. You were so protected, but you need to set this, this, this wheel of motion here with that queen of swords. Okay. That bad B energy. Cause that sets the tone and spirits, spirits going to be clapping. Okay. Spirits going to be like, spirits going to be like cancer did it. Cancer freaking did it. And you were going to be blessed because of that. So that could be a test from the universe. So what else do my lovely cancers need to see? Please and thank you, spirit. A time for healing. Yes, that can be a healing energy. Stepping into your villain era a little bit. Yes, yes. And if other people don't like it, who cares? Um, the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. Okay, so if you've been waiting for an answer, waiting for a sign for something, it's coming. The clarity is coming. The communication is coming. The answers you need are coming. But it's time to take care of you and do what you need to do and embrace your friendships. And like I said, if somebody's asking you to come out, if somebody wants you to go and have a good time, do it. Do it. Go have fun. You can come home later. You can come home later and do what you need to do. But step out and have fun because you deserve it. And that's going to bring you into a better energy. You're going to feel really refreshed. And uh, I, I know y'all's social battery can like diminish like crazy. Totally understand that. Me too. But you, you can take your three to six business months after that. Okay. But have fun now. Your friends, your, your friends will be happy that you're finally popping out. Okay. And who knows? Maybe you'll meet new friends and then you'll meet new romantic partners and new people, uh, new, new career people, stuff like that networking of any kind it's there's there's love all around okay guys you deserve it you 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 will find the good love okay so i need you to pause take a minute think of a yes or no question i'm gonna shuffle a few times to get like a few cards out and um yeah it could be multiple questions or it could be just one but we'll see what we get so if you need to pause still i'm gonna start shuffling in three two and one so what's the answer to my cancer's question or questions please and thank you spirit okay Whew. that was quick i felt called to stop real quick <laughs> we have recovery okay works really well with this time for healing and we have there's something better Okay, so if something's not working out for you right now, there's something better on the horizon. Don't worry, it's coming. And on the back of the deck, we have in the near future. So, like I said, you can meet people, going out, having fun, doing what you need to do. But don't focus on that when you're going out. Focus on having a good time. And that's when the good time starts. All right, so... That is everything that I have for you, my lovely Cancers. Thank you so much for being here. If you stuck around past the love reading, I know that was a little struggle bus. And I, I really don't blame you if you, you think another way of me <laughs> just for what I was saying. But hey, I'm a loose cannon. I'm here. I, I give you real talk. And listen, I, <laughs> I will protect you, Cancers. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you're looking for a personal reading, my info is down below in the description. If you would like to join my memberships, absolutely. That's down below too there's exclusive pick a cards over there um and access to all of my extendeds from any video i've done with extended so there's that as well and uh yeah i do want to mention my members do get a discount on my personal reading price so um if you would like to become a member today and then get your personal reading that would be great that would be fantastic but you know what it's not mandatory even you just being here i appreciate you I am so grateful for you and I genuinely wish you nothing but the best moving forward cancer. You've got this, okay? I'm gonna be clapping for you when you step into that bad B energy, okay? I can feel it. I can feel it's coming. It's been brewing. Step on into it and don't feel afraid. <laughs> All right, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye cancer.